You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. And one of the things that was asked today in the Supreme Court hearing nomination of Amy Coney Barrett dealt with voter intimidation. Republicans, Donald Trump, is one of the things they've been wanting to do. Joining us right now, for Senator Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota. Senator Klobuchar, welcome back to Roll the Barton Unfiltered. Well, thank you, Roland. It's great to be on again. I just got to ask you, how in the hell could, could Amy Coney Barrett say she wasn't sure about the issue of voter intimidation? And you were like, it's already the law. I literally could not believe it. I read for her the statute myself, and I'll read it again. Uh, she would not commit, she would not commit uh, to whether she believed in this uh, precedent and that she believed, um, and she was very vague. And I finally said, you know, 18 U.S.C. 594 outlaws anyone who intimidates, threatens, coerces, or attempts to intimidate any person for the purpose of uh, of interfering with their right to vote. And my point to her was this is happening right now, as you know, in Minnesota, we have this issue where uh, the uh, there's been a notice to ask former special forces people to be employed to come and stand at our polls. That happened, and that's why I made the point to her. Now, obviously, voting rights is also a critical issue. Um, is that is that actually going to come up? I know Democrats keep asking about Roe v. Wade, but the Supreme Court is also going to hear a major voting rights case out of Arizona that could gut Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act. That's something that African Americans are very concerned about as well. Exactly. This is right on the Supreme Court's docket. And what I said to her was, you are taking the seat, if that's what's going to happen, and we're doing everything to stop it, but you would be taking the seat of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who was a key leader when it came to voting rights. As you know, Rollin, with the Voting Rights Act, it was Ruth Bader Ginsburg who wrote the dissent, which I called today, in her words, the blueprint for the future, uh, that talked about the fact that if you allow uh, the law uh, to be broken down like this, states, Ruth said, the justice said, are going to literally start enacting voter suppression. And we now know over 20 of them did that all over the place, including a number of states with people that serve on the committee. Uh, Senator Graham state in South Carolina, as you know, they just said, yeah, you got to have a witness still, even in the middle of a pandemic. North Carolina, uh, law enacted there that the higher court said, the Fourth Circuit, that they were discriminating against African Americans with surgical precision. Tom Tillis is on that committee. Uh, then you go down the row. Marsha Blackburn in Tennessee, they're contesting even doing ballot drop-off boxes. And the final one, Texas, a county the size of Harris County, 4.7 million people. And the governor said only one drop box per county. And in every single county, one judge stepped in bravely and said that's wrong. And just yesterday, three Trump judges reversed it. That is also most likely going to the Supreme Court. So you can see why having someone like Justice Ginsburg on the court is so important. And it's a very, very strong case to make against this nominee. Um, Senator, uh, another thing that jumps, and I just got to lay it out. All these Republicans keep talking about court packing, court packing. That's what the Republicans have been doing. They've been packing the courts. This is what I got to know. If Democrats take control of the Senate, are Democrats going to be as ruthless, as hardcore, and, and driving their agenda? Because, look, that's one of the things. Democrats play nice. Republicans are about power. So folks want to know, are Democrats going to use the power if they get the power? Roland. Number one thing we're doing right now is trying to win this election. And you know what's happening. You know the numbers with Jamie Harrison in South Carolina, how well he's doing, how well we're doing in states all over the place. That is my focus. And then we will look at all reforms, of course. I've always said that. I said that when I was running for president. But the number one thing right now, the focus is to win this election. And who is packing the court right now? And I think this gets lost. The Republicans are. They're the ones that have reversed the precedent that they set themselves, that the in an election year, that the person who wins the election, the president, the new president should be able to pick the nominee. They are the ones that are packing the court right now with their disrespect 
for their own president, as well as precedent, as well as uh, the clear violation of the rule set by Abraham Lincoln, a man of honor, who the last time we had a justice die this close to an election, he said, we wait till after the election. All right, Senator, uh, we got, actually, we got a surprise here. Uh, Cliff Albright and Latasha Brown, they're the co-founders of Black Voters Matter. Uh, we're here at their rally uh, here in Houston. Uh -huh. And so they were going to come on next. And so, look, they all about voting. So they got a question for you. So, Cliff, go ahead. What's your question? Yeah, hey there, Senator. We're, we're all about voting, but we're also all about power. And so our question is, why is it that the Democrats in the Senate won't use everything at their disposal, all the power at their disposal, to use every parliamentary procedure they can in order to stop this nomination? Well, I think you see us uh, being uh, aggressive, and you see what we've done today and what I did in my examination of this judge. Uh, I really pushed on the issues of voting and made it very clear. And actually, as Roland pointed out at the beginning, uh, she wouldn't even agree that voter intimidation was against the law. So that's the case that we're making. And my case is made to the American people to vote. And I know that's what we share that, that's what you're doing right now. And I said earlier, we will try everything we can and we have limited tools, we're doing everything we can, but the key is to make the case to the American people to vote. That is going to make the biggest difference, as well as calling these Republican senators, many of them up in tough races right now, um, who they're hearing from their uh, constituents that they don't want a judge like this on there who's going to throw out the Affordable Care Act. When you look at her record, every sign, as I said today, every track leads to her voting against the Affordable Care Act. Those are, when you look at how she criticized the decision upholding Obamacare, well, when you look at everything she's done, that's where you get headed with this judge. And so I think it's our job to make that case, and that's what we've been doing, instead of just business as usual at these hearings. All right, Senator Amy Klobuchar, we certainly appreciate you joining us on Roller Martin Unfiltered. Okay. Thanks a bunch. All right. It's great to be on. Thank you. All right, folks, back to our Roller Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, the folks at Seek.com, black-owned company founded by Mary Spio. Uh, they, of course, are a virtual reality company. You can check out their content at Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. You can do so, of course, with these VR headsets. You can look at it, of course, on your regular device or your pad or your computer. But if you want to experience being in the room, you can use this headset right here. All you simply do is just pop in your cell phone in here, pop it on, and then uh, put this headset on, and you can literally experience their content in virtual reality. And so uh, allow for you to do a 360 degree view uh, of the room. But also, folks, uh, you, they have the 360 degree 4D headphones right here. Uh, these are, are Bluetooth headphones. Uh, they have complete surround sound in terms of as you hear the particular music. Uh, gamers love them as well when they're playing their games. Uh, and so it's just phenomenal, phenomenal bass in these headphones as well. You can get one or both devices at seek.com using this promo code RM. VIP 2020 RM VIP 2020. So we certainly thank the folks at seek.com for being a partner with us here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. All right.